क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स विच स्टेट दैट ए सर्कुलर क्वाइल ऑफ वायर ऑफ रेडियस आर हैज एंटर्स एंड कैरीज ए करेंट आई द मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन बी एट ए पॉइंट ऑन द एक्सिस ऑफ द क्वाइल एट ए डिस्टेंस टू रूट टू आर फ्रॉम द सेंटर विल बी नाउ डेयर स्टूडेंट कंसिडर द सिचुएशन लेट दिस इज द रिंग एंड एट द एक्सीएल पॉइंट हेयर वॉट विल बी द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लेट इट डिस्टेंस इज लेट दिस डिस्टेंस इज एक्स एंड रेडियस इज आर देन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एट दिस पॉइंट इज गिवेन एज बी इक्वल टू म्यू नॉट हेयर करेंट इज गिवेन एज एन इन टू आई बिकॉज देर आर एन टर्न इन द क्वाइल देन टोटल करेंट इज एन इन टू आई हेयर म्यू इन टू एन आई इन टू आर स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाई टू टाइम्स एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस आर स्क्वायर टू रेज पावर थ्री बाई टू दैट मीन्स नाउ पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वॉट इज एक्स एक्स इज गिवेन एज टू रूट टू आर जस्ट पुट द वैल्यूज we will get b equal to mu not n into i r square divided by 2 times 2 root 2 r whole square plus r square to raise power 3 by 2 now after solving we will get as b equal to mu not n i upon 54 r that means option number 2 will be the correct answer now move to the question number 7 which states that a current of 10 ampere flows downward in a long straight vertical conductor and the earth's horizontal flux density is 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 tesla then the neutral point occurs now dear students there is a vertical straight conductor where current is flowing downward this current is 10 ampere at any point field will be let in this direction and earth horizontal field will be in this direction this is bh and this is b if there is a neutral point then b will be equal to bh now b will be equal to mu not into i divided by 2 pi into r that is equal to bh that is 2 into 10 to raise power minus 7 now putting the value mu not upon 2 pi that is 2 into 10 power minus 7 into i that is 10 Divide by r, and that is equal to 2 into 10 to raise power minus 7. After solving, we will get r equal to 10 meter from the wire. Hence, so option number 2 will be the correct answer. Now move to the question number 8, which states that two concentric circular coil A and B have radii 25 centimeter and 15 centimeter and carrying currents 10 ampere and 15 ampere, respectively. A has 24 turns and B has 18 turns. The direction of currents is in opposite order. The magnetic induction at the common center of the coil will be. Now, dear students, we know that at the center of a coil, what will be the magnetic field? This is equal to mu naught into n times i divided by 2r. Now, magnetic field will be equal to B1 minus B2. Here, minus is because both the currents are in Opposite order. Now, this will be equal to mu naught n1 i1 divided by 2 r1 minus mu naught n2 i2 divided by 2 r2. Now, putting the values, this will be mu naught n1 is 24 into i1 is 10 divided by 2 into r1 is 0.25 minus mu not into n2 that is equal to 18 into i2 that is 15 ampere divided by its 2r1 that is 0.15 after solving we will get as minus 420 mu not tesla now this minus shows the direction only here option number 4 will be the correct magnitude for the given situation now move to the question number 9 which states that a moving coil galvanometer a has 200 tons and resistance of 100 ohm another galvanometer b has 100 tons and resistance of 40 ohm all the other quantities are same in both the cases the current sensitivity of a is now dear student we know that current sensitivity phi i that is equal to nba divided by kappa 
Now here all the quantities are same, only number of turns and resistances are different. Here there is no terms of resistance in current sensitivity that means phi i directly proportional to number of turns. Now if we calculate phi a upon phi b then it will be equal to 200 divided by 100 that means phi a that is equal to 2 times of phi b that means current sensitivity of a that will be double of current sensitivity of b hence option number one will be the correct answer now move to the question number 10 which states that a galvanometer has a current range of 20 milliampere and voltage range of 600 millivolt to convert this galvanometer into a meter of range 10 ampere the shunt resistance required is nearly now dear students we know that now resistance of a galvanometer is known as voltage range divided by current range and it will be equal to 600 millivolt divided by 20 milliampere now it will come out to be 30 ohm now consider the situation that this is rg and here 10 ampere current have to flown but here current is ig only that is equal to 20 milliampere and here there is a shunt resistance let this is rs and here all the current that means 10 minus ig will flow through this now we know that 20 milliampere into rg that will be equal to 10 minus 20 milliampere that is into rs will be same now after solving we will get 20 into 10 power minus 3 into 30 that will be equal to 10 minus 20 into 10 power minus 3 into rs now after solving this we will get rs approximately 0 0.06 ohm that means option number 2 will be the correct answer now move to the question number 11